Hi YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play World of Warcraft on Wednesdays. So we are now starting the first of the um, Wrath of the Lish King uh, instances or dungeons. Uh, this is Utgard Keep and uh, next week we'll finish with Utgard Pinnacle. Um, although Utgard Pinnacle is supposed to be is a, is a level 80 um, run and this is a level 70 run or yeah. Um, <laughs> this is actually one of the, the Utgar Keep is one of the first um, instances that you run, um, and then I think um, Pinnacle is one of the later runs, ones that is run during um, Wrath of the Lich King. However, since they're both in the same area as you uh, have come to know me, um, I'm, I try and do as many of these um, in a row as I possibly can. Um, just because that way I don't have to keep going back and forth and all that stuff, so. Um, they, they're, I'm, I generally don't play these necessarily in order of difficulty. <laughs> um, alright, so, um, I just went and, and picked up my, uh, my three quests. I've got a king, a kill, um, Prince Kesseleth. Um, I need to pick up some weapons and I need to, uh, bring back Ingvar's head. Um, so those are the, those are the objectives on this particular thing. And here's the, the weapons right here. And, um. Yeah, once again, basically going to uh, um, avoid killing trash mobs as much as possible. And uh, this is one that I definitely remember running with uh, with our guild. Um, at this point, I was fully um, at you know full level when this uh, expansion came out. Where, as with Burning Crusade, I had only just just started playing World of Warcraft two months before Burning Crusade came out, so I was nowhere near um, level 60 when it came out, so a lot of the instances, um, I didn't run with them at the beginning. Oh, and uh, <laughs> I forgot about these flame walls and the fact that I have to um, get rid of these guys, um, specifically the one that's um, pulling the chain, um, that's stoking the fire. Um, until I get rid of him, the the flame wall just kind of stands there. So these are trash mobs that you kind of have to get, you kind of have to attack them. You don't have, don't have a choice. But yeah, back with Burning Crusade when it first came out, obviously I I had a lot of leveling to do before I could um, get into doing any of the dungeon runs and that kind of thing. Or you know, by the time I I was doing the dungeon runs, my guild had already. Um, run them because they were all level 60 already, at least, you know, with their original um, tunes and everything that they were running with. Obviously some of them started new tunes and things um, to experience some of the new um, leveling areas and that kind of thing, but it really, uh, really, most of them just kind of stuck with level 60 and, and uh, didn't really level up new characters, and so um, a lot of them didn't want to rerun a lot of the earlier um, dungeons and things, and so a lot of the um, vanilla and Burning Crusade ones were ones that I ran later um, after I got um, higher level and I could just run it with one or two people, um, or even solo. Um, so, hence hence some of my, my, my memories of some of these things um, being different as time goes on, because this, uh, this expansion was the first one where I was actually at the same level as my guild uh, when it came out. And so I started actually doing a lot more um, things with the guild with Wrath of the Lich King at the time. And at the time I still had, uh, I was still living on my own. Um, my husband and I were, were um, dating, but we were still living separately. And um, we only saw each other two, three times a week, possibly. Not every night, definitely. And so a lot of evenings I'd come home after work and uh, I'd be I'd be playing War, uh, Warcraft, you know. Um, I played a lot more um, in those days because I had a regular job. I just kind of got up in the morning, went to work, um, would run errands on the way home from work, and then, you know, would settle in. And if I wasn't watching TV, I'd be playing World of Warcraft. Or I would, uh, you know, watch something and then uh, and then play afterwards. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, in those days I was playing a lot more often. Nowadays, um, you know, 
besides these videos that I do every week, which, you know, obviously, it you know, one of these runs takes me um, anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. And then, of course, the um, the raid that I did last week with Karazhan, that one took me uh, over an hour to complete. Uh, but other than that, that's the only playing I do. I have not been playing um, any of the level 90 uh, content at all. Um, I just haven't had the time. I do uh, I do a lot more things. I, I've found that even though I'm self-employed and I make my own hours, I find myself being a lot busier than <laughs> I've ever been before. Oh, and uh, uh, I'm sure you're noticing that I I already killed the the prince, so we got the got the prince out of the way, and we're going on towards the uh, the next set of bosses in here. I was checking this place out. Like, is there, can you go anywhere here? Uh, <laughs> my guild always ran through these things so quickly. I never had a chance to explore. Um, not to mention the fact that you know if you did explore and and you were you know by yourself you get killed a lot more quickly so you really wanted to stay together as in the group um, and no one else wanted to explore with me so yeah, these guys just kind of started chasing me <laughs> like all right I'll take I'll kill you if you want me to <laughs> all right so just keep coming up the stairs here Yep, and there's yeah, Scarvald and this other guy, and that's the next, like they're a, a boss pair almost. Yeah, I can't go that way, so I have to go this way, and these guys will look too close. So I might as well take them out. I always remember this one was a. It's a pretty quick run one way or the other. I mean, obviously it goes it takes them a lot longer at level um, with with a full group of five. Here I got a little lost, but then I figured it out again. <laughs> These little frenzied things running around all the time. I find them to be quite annoying. But, uh, yeah, I, I really, it, Lish King was, was, I think, one of my favorite um, expansions just because of the fact that I had more time to play it. Um, and I, I, I did not get into the raids. Um, I may or may not have participated in parts of the raids. Like, sometimes someone would drop out and um, the, the guild needed help. And I'd step in for a boss fight or two. But I didn't actually run any of the full raids. Um, for, for for Lish King at all. So if there's any 10-man uh, raids, I'm sure there are, um, I'll I'll give them a go. I'll give them a try. But basically, I'm going to go through all of the five mans first and then um, go back and uh, check out any of the 10-man raids and see if I can run them or not, starting with the easiest and going forward. And then um, if as soon as I hit one where it it gets to be too difficult, and at that point, I will stop <laughs> and uh, and go on to uh, to the next expansion. But and eh, that'll be a while. <laughs> I did notice that this particular expansion had fewer instances than the previous ones did. Um, Vanilla had the most. Um, Vanilla has over. 20 of them, I think, or, you know, and then the last one was like 18 plus the, uh, plus the raid, so that made 19, um, uh, but this one I think only has like 15 or so, so it looks like, like they, they st stopped making as many, um, dungeons with the expansions and things, and I know with the next, so this one gets us to level 80, this expansion, and then the next expansion after that, um, I think that was Cataclysm, and then that one only got you to level 85. Um, so that one, you know, it's only five levels, so uh, a, a lot fewer um, dungeons in that one. And then the next one gets you to level 90, so, you know, same same deal, like, since it's only five levels and not ten. But the next expansion coming up um, at the end of this year um, gets you another ten levels again to level 100. 
And so I'm guessing that that one's going to have more um, dungeons again. And um, if I actually finish doing all of the soloable dungeons that I can um, by the time the next expansion comes out, and I forget the name of it, but I know that we're, oh yeah, Lords of Draenor or something like that. Warlords of Draenor. Um, something, something to do with Draenor. Um, oh yes, and here we go. Final boss. Um, but anyway, with the Warlords of Draenor, um, you know, I may try and, um, do some at-level group raids and stuff and record them. I'm not sure. Um, or maybe I'll do some battlegrounds or, you know, I'm, I, I haven't quite figured out exactly, um, what I'll do once I'm done with all of the soloable instances because I'll have to be level 100 to continue soloing some of them once I get to the certain point. Alright, well there, it, there goes Ingvar. <laughs> and there's his head. Now I do recall that there was a shortcut to get back out of here um, without having to run all the way back exactly the same way I came, so... Um, let's give that a go, shall we? I can ride my map through this section here at least. So we came from those stairs, so let's try going this way. Oh yes, here we go. I think this is it. So you drop into the water. I think that should be fine. Yep, there we go. steer <laughs> myself. <laughs> Alrighty. And one more drop. And that should get us back to the uh, instance entrance. And dropping off the quests. Alright. Well, I hope that you guys are enjoying these videos and uh, I will continue to do them because I enjoy playing them. I, like I said, it's sort of a nostalgia trip for me if nothing else. Um, all right, uh, so here we go, dropping these off, and then we'll um, we'll wrap things up and uh, look forward to uh, Utgard Pinnacle next week. That one was always a, that one was hard. Uh, I remember uh, wiping a lot on uh, on one part of that one, so that'll be interesting to um, to run back through that and not have to die all the time. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for joining me. If you like the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would greatly appreciate a subscription. Um, but until next time, take care. Bye-bye.